thanks for clicking on another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be telling you how to copy um, the DVDs that you own onto your iTunes account uh, so that you can watch your DVDs on your Apple TV, um, on your iPhone, your iPod or just on iTunes. Uh, to do this you'll need two programs that can be easily downloaded from the internet. Um, one of the programs is called Handbrake and the other is called VLC. So I'll just show you how to get those now. So if you just go into your web browser and type in handbrake and there we go just on the left hand side there handbrake and this screen will come up and you can download the program and you just need to pick the relevant piece of software for uh, for your system uh, I can't tell you exactly which one you'll need but you will know if you download the wrong one because the uh, the program it just won't work so once you've downloaded handbrake you'll need to download another piece of software called VLC so if you just type in search bar VLC and there we go VLC media player again just click on there and you just need to click on the relevant download option there once you've got both of those programs you just need to open Handbrake and Handbrake is situated in my dock it's got a little uh, cocktail and a pineapple picture um, just click on that and this is what Handbrake looks like now I've already put a DVD into my Mac that I want to copy so I'm just going to show you how to do it. So this is a DVD that I've purchased and I want to copy it onto iTunes so that I can watch it on Apple TV. So all you need to do is click on Source and it will give you some options here and today I'm going to be copying uh, Bean John Malkovich onto my iTunes so that I can actually watch my DVD on my Apple TV. So you just need to click on the DVD and click open and Handbrake will start scanning the new source. Just there, scan a new source. What it's actually going to do is it's going to uh, read the DVD and basically look at the different titles and the chapters and just break it down for you. Uh, there's a little uh, bar here that will show you the progress. It's pretty quick. Nearly there. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it knows what it is. Um, it's showing um, where it's going to download. So it's actually downloaded onto my external drive. Um, but you can change this. Your destination can be wherever you want. It can be your desktop if you want it to be. Um, it also shows you the name that it's going to download it as. Um, it will leave the space in, and, and this is how it reads it off the DVD. And you can actually change it now if you want to. Uh, that that can simplify the process a little bit. I'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment. It's telling me that the uh, the film is 1 hour and 48 minutes 11 seconds there. Okay, and chapters 1 through to 33. And uh, basically there's some easy to use um, options on the right hand side here. And this is what sort of format you want it downloading into. Um, so for the purposes of this video, and for me personally, I'm going to click on the Apple TV option and it will automatically preset all the video codec and quality okay and once you've done that it's just as simple as pressing start and just here it says Q scanning title 1 of 10 and you'll get another progress bar it's not the quickest of programs um, and it will take a considerably long time to uh, copy each movie it, it, it is a long process if you're planning on um, copying your entire DVD collection but what you can actually do is set this program running and just leave it for uh, it, the time usually goes down to about two hours per DVD um, and you can just leave it running basically in the background while you're doing other stuff um, or if you want to, if you wanted to leave it overnight you can do. Um, so that's happening now so that's actually copying over onto my hard disk um, so I'm just going to leave that now. So once it's copied over, I'll be able to add it into my iTunes account and I'm going to make another video just to show you how to do that and also how to tidy it up with a nice glossy DVD cover as well.